All right, converting between decimals, fractions, and percents. Uh, in probability, oftentimes uh, answers of probability questions can be expressed in any of these forms. So it's pretty useful to know how to interchange back and forth uh, between decimals, fractions, and percents. So the first is uh, when you want to convert something that is a fraction and you want to change it to a decimal. Uh, fractions basically just mean divide, so if you had a fraction and you want to express it as a decimal, you just divide. So 3 fourths as a fraction, that's 3 divided by 4, or 0 0.75. So 3 fourths as a fraction is equal to 0 0.75 as a decimal. Um, maybe you want to convert your number to a percentage. This is a fairly easy one, too. Uh, percent, per cent means per 100. Uh, so there's a real quick way to convert from a decimal number to a percentage. You effectively uh, move the decimal place over two spots to the right. Because this is 0.75. Another way of saying that is 75 one hundredths. So 75 one hundredths is 75 percent. Percent, once again, meaning per one hundredth. To convert from decimals to percents, move the decimal place over two places to the right. Very similarly, when you want to convert from a percentage to a decimal, pretty much do the same thing, but in the other direction. You are going to want to move the decimal place, uh, which would be at the end of the number in percent form, two spots to the left. So, um, 43%, for example, we would move the decimal place here at the end, 43, two spots to the left, and that is 0 0.43. Now, when converting from decimals to fractions, this could actually get a little complicated. When the decimal repeats, there's another little strategy that I will show in another video if it is something that's going to end up coming up. Uh, so in this example, it's just a decimal that terminates, it stops. Uh, converting a decimal back to a fraction, uh, the decimal 0.45 or 0 0.45, um, that's 45 one hundredths. And you quite literally exactly convert just like that. As many decimal places as you would need to move uh, for your decimal so that it's a whole number, that many decimal places we want to move in the denominator. Let me kind of work that out real quick as I just explained it. 0.45 uh, over 1, any number is just itself over 1, uh, we could multiply the numerator and the denominator here by 100, effectively moving the decimal place over two spots to the right, uh, and that ends up being equaling 45 over 100. Then you can take your fraction and divide out common factors. 45 and 100 are both divisible by 5. 45 um, goes into 5 9 times, and 100 goes into 5 20 times. Uh, so, if you want to go from a fraction to a percent or vice versa, uh, you are just going to want to take one quick stop in the decimal as an intermediate. But it's not very difficult to convert from decimals to percents or vice versa. It becomes a little more complicated when you deal with fractions.